At first, it was just enough for mankind to glance up at the night sky and marvel at the sea of stars containing constellations of faraway twinkling lights. Modern technology has allowed us to witness the solar system in all of its beauty, showing off our nearby neighbors with stunning detail. It's hard not to get inspired by the landscapes on these alien worlds, so here are some of the more beautiful facts about our solar system. Number 10. Blue Skies Mars is a desolate, dusty ball of rock barren of any obvious forms of life. It's called the Red Planet for a reason, good old-fashioned rust. The iron oxide molecules in the dusty soil corrode just the same as it does here on Earth. But bizarrely, the crimson hue of the landscape changes when it comes to the twilight hours of the day. The Martian sunsets cast an eerily blue twinge over everything. Once again, it all comes down to dust. Airborne particles cause the red light to scatter, giving the sky a red appearance. However, during sunset, blue light has to travel a longer distance and align closer to the sun's rays than the other colors in the spectrum. It's the exact opposite of the blue skies and red sunsets on Earth. Number 9. Icy Eruptions Mention volcanoes and everyone immediately thinks of plumes of ash, blisteringly hot rivers of lava, and fiery fragments of molten rock shooting out and landing miles away. But just because this happens on Earth doesn't mean it's the same for everywhere else. When you break it down, a volcano is, in its basic form, a release of an underground reservoir of pressurized fluids or gas. The pent-up material then erupts onto the surface of the planet. The material shot into the atmosphere can be wildly different. On Jupiter's moon Io, the volcanoes shoot out sulfur dioxide, otherwise known as rotten egg gas. On Saturn's moon Enceladus, good old-fashioned H2O is the driving force. Water expands when it freezes and enormous pressure builds up, shooting out a jet of ice skywards, otherwise known as a cryovolcano. Number 8. Glassy Eruptions Jupiter has four moons referred to as the Galilean satellites, as an homage to their discoverer Galileo, who first documented them in 1610. The closest is Io, which experiences weird geological phenomena from the gravitational and tidal forces exerted on it by its mother planet. The interior of Io is squeezed like a rubber ball, forcing its shape into something slightly resembling an egg. This compression force causes a huge buildup of heat in its core. Eventually, pressure proves too much and volcanoes shower the atmosphere and surface in explosions of silicate compounds. In other words, it rains glass. The volcanic activity is so commonplace that the surface of Io is completely resurfaced every few thousand years. Its white crust is mottled with orange and yellow from sulfur compounds brought up from beneath the crust. Number 7. The Big Daddy of Volcanoes The largest volcano on planet Earth is Mauna Loa in Hawaii, 75 miles across and 9 miles high the majority of which is hidden beneath the azure waves of the Pacific Ocean. This is child's play when compared to the biggest of the bunch. On Mars, there is the appropriately named Olympus Mons, paying homage to the Greek gods who lived atop the mythical Mount Olympus here on Earth. This behemoth dwarfs Mauna Loa and is a whopping 435 miles across and 14 miles high, taking out the title of the biggest in the solar system. The top of the pinnacle isn't a crater, but rather a flat top with sheer cliffs on all sides six miles high. It's a shield-type volcano built up from eruptions of molten basalt. Its titanic size comes courtesy of a billion years of accumulated material, with the structure itself stabilizing the Martian crust. Number 6. The Big Daddy of Oceans Little known fact, Jupiter has the biggest ocean of any planet in our solar system. This may seem strange, as the only place to hold liquid water is Earth, and quite possibly on Mars in deep underground saltwater reservoirs. But it's true. The oceans of Jupiter are made up of something entirely different, metallic hydrogen. The planet orbits five times further from the Sun than Earth in a very cold section of the solar system. It's made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, retaining more of the gas when it was formed than compared to Earth. Using Jupiter's mass, chemical makeup, and with the help of physics, it's clear that there should be a vast ocean comprised of liquid metal hydrogen. 
It's over 25,000 miles deep, as deep as the Earth is round. Number five, life inside the sun. We all think of the sun as that big hot ball of nuclear fusion burning in the sky 93 million miles away. But really, that's only a small part of the sun's true nature. The heliosphere is the extent of the sun's outer atmosphere, extending out 100 astronomical units. Remember, 1 AU is the distance from the sun's surface to the Earth. This puts the edge of the sun well past Pluto, meaning we technically live inside of the sun where aurora borealis and australis are evidence of this. As the sun's radiation interacts with our magnetosphere, the electrically charged atmosphere emits a breathtaking green swirling patterns in the sky. Auroras have been observed on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and even Neptune. This solar atmosphere is shaped like a teardrop with the tail caused by the sun's movement through space. Number four, where does it stop? So, we bet you've always thought that the edge of the solar system stops at was a planet but now isn't a planet Pluto. Now you know it's at least a bit further out at the edge of the heliosphere. But neither of these are correct, with the actual boundary extending out 1,000 times the orbit of Pluto, or around half a light year from the center. Pluto sits 40 AU from the Sun, but there are trans-Neptunian objects, or TNOs, and Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs, that exist considerably farther out than Pluto, 50 to 60 AU. These bodies travel through space following a solar orbit, making them technically part of our solar system. Then there's the Oort Comet Cloud, 50,000 AU from the Sun, that are influenced by the Sun's gravitational pull and make up the absolute limit of the furthest reaches of the solar system. Number three, one chunky monkey. The Sun is a big, beautiful orb that rains down life-bringing warmth and light to the plants on Earth that form the foundation of every ecosystem on the planet. We know the Sun is dense enough to fuse its hydrogen fuel into helium to create this energy. But what does it tip the scales at when compared to other celestial bodies in our solar system? As it turns out, 99.86% of the mass in the solar system is contained within the Sun. No, that isn't an error, and yes, the decimal point is in the right place. The core of the Sun is one part helium and three parts hydrogen, and is the equivalent to around 330,000 Earths. All of the other planets, moons, comets, asteroids, dust, gas, and other assorted stuff account for an abysmal 0.14% of everything around us. Number two, the eye of the storm. In ancient times, the great red spot on the surface of Jupiter was thought to be the eye of an angry god. In fact, it's a huge atmospheric storm over twice the size of the Earth, first observed in 1878 and showing no signs of slowing down. The storm system takes about a week to perform a 360-degree rotation, and although we know it floats above Jupiter's many cloud layers, we have no idea how deep it extends. The wind speed on its edges exceeds 250 miles per hour. The color changes according to the cloud composition, varying from orange to red to gray and a mixture of all three. At times, the eye is covered by white clouds in the very upper atmosphere. It's thought that sulfur and phosphorus compounds give the great red spot its characteristic color, and it's unknown how long the storm has been raging or when it will subside. Number one, the rock your wife deserves. The constellation of Cancer has a star 40 light years away that's visible from Earth, 55 Canceri. It's not the star itself, but the planet in the fifth orbit that's interesting. 55 Canceri E is composed almost entirely of graphite carbon, but more importantly, geological processes, hot temperatures, and immense pressure deep beneath the crust have formed diamonds. It has a size double of that of Earth and eight times the mass with a molten iron core. It's the layer of diamond between the core and the crust that draws attention, contributing to a third of the planet's mass. The mind-bogglingly rich deposit of precious gems is thought to be worth 26 nonillion dollars. That's not a made-up word, by the way. It's a one with 30 zeros behind it.